God bless you. God bless you. In short, yesterday, I w- there was the, uh, that brother from Uganda when he was preaching. Pastor Jesse. Pastor Jesse when he was preaching. Yes, about healing. Kuhusu kuponywa. Ah, mimi nilikuwa nasumbuliwa na tumbo muda mrefu sana. I was been troubled with stomach ache for a long time. Muda mrefu sana kiasi kwamba long time siwezi ku yani kuishi au kukaa kwa amani muda wote. In such a way that I could not stay with in peace any time. Tumbo limeniuma zaidi ya miaka 6 au 7. I had stomach ache for more than 6 or 7 years. But till yesterday lakini mpaka jana when i was sitting there nishikilia imani i hold up my faith acha kama ilikuwa sio kubwa kivile it was not great like that lakini but nikapona i was healed amen hallelujah glory ah umepona sister Mungu awabariki. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Napenda kumshukuru Mungu. I would like to thank God kwa uponyaji wake. For his healing. Mimi ni ziwa la upande wa kulia. Uh, my left breast. Nimekuwa likinisumbua kutoka mwaka jana mwezi wa 12. It has been troubling since the last year in December. Nilienda kwa daktari. I went to a doctor akanipima and and took measurements ugonjwa wote lakini ziwa linakuwa lina linauma sana I was told that I have, I have no disease but the, I had aches in my left breast basi nikawa na hii labda itakuwa labda ni cancer ni cancer so I was feeling maybe it will be a cancer cancer sasa daktari alivyo sema sina ugonjwa wote basi but when doctor said that I have no any sickness mimi nikaendelea tu kuumwa 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 then I continue suffering suffering ila kutoka jana then from yesterday when the servant of god preached about nili, the, uh, divine healing nilishikilia ziwa langu la kulia ili i held up my left breast pia na ili ziwa la my, my, my right breast na pia ziwa la kulia linanisumbua niliungua moto and also my right breast uh, has been troubling me i was burnt madaktari walisema mishipa fahamu imeungua sana and doctor said the the nerves have been burnt so much toka mwezi wa tisa natumia vidonge kila mwezi wananipa vidonge from september i've been using tab, ta, tablets paka leo hii bado naendelea kunywa dawa until this time i'm still taking in medicine na pia nilikuwa siwezi kulala usiku and then i could not sleep at night paka wananipa vile vidonge vya kusaidia kupata usingizi until they were giving me some pills to help me sleep baadaye daktari alikataa akasema hizi dawa za usingizi sio nzuri kuzizoelea then doctor said that these tabs for for sleeping is they are not good for 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 to get used to, get used to it to them basi nika naendelea kuteseka na yale mateso sipati sana usingizi mpaka ikifika labda saa tisa usiku ndo napata usingizi then i went on suffering i could not get sleep until uh, late at 9 pm am napenda kumshukuru mungu then i would like to thank god toka jana nilipotoka nilivotoka hapa kwenye mkutano after getting off here this meeting na yale mauti without pain I will thank God for his healing. Amen. Amen. Mimi bwana utukufu. Give God glory. Dada mange. Bwana Yesu Kristo amemponya. Karibu. Bwana Yesu Kristo awabariki. The Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Naitwa Dada Jonas. My name is Sister Jonas. I have stood here to thank God for three things that he has done to me. Kitu cha kwanza. The first thing. Nimekuwa nikisumbuka sana katika maisha yangu. I've been suffering so much in my life. Maisha ya kipato. Na nimekuwa nikimwomba Mungu anisaidie kunijulisha nini nini shida yangu. My economic life. Then I have been asking God to to make it known to me what is my problem what sin have i committed oh what sin my, my, my 
my husband has committed it has been troubling me so much and I asked God to, to, to reveal it then once he reveals it I will be ready to repent and when this meeting was announced I was taking every time I was taking a time aside to pray that in, a, in these meetings he could show me what is my problem. But I thank God so much. God is faithful. All preachers that stood to preach, it was like they are preaching to me. I don't know if they are, they are talking to anybody else. I have re- discovered that all years that since I believed the message, I have never been giving tithing in correct way as God says. But I have been giving a crippled tithing. Sometimes I will give and sometimes I will not give. And the whole meeting God has been showing me that and it has come direct to me. And also I've seen that I've not been given offering the same way as he's been blessing me. So I thank God for that. Amen. And the second thing, I have been having eye problems for a long time. And it reached the time I am a tail, I could not put. It, it came a time I could not come with the Bible in a, in a church because I could not read it. If I try to read, I get my, uh, my, my, uh, my eyes aching so much. And I thank God since yesterday's prayer. Today I can read my Bible very well. The third thing, I have been troubled with ulcers. Even if I have, I have, I have eaten or have not eaten, but if I, I could not, I could not, I could not eat mandazi. Even if I taste a little bit, it, the problem starts in my, to- my stomach. If I taste beans. The problem starts. I have been forcing eating, then hoping that Jesus will heal me. And sometimes I could use uh, hospital's medicine. But since I came to these meetings, the food which is being prepared is the same food that I'm using. Even the mandas which was a lot of a, a big problem that, that I was uh, today morning I have used them uh, and right now I'm standing I don't feel any pain. Amen. And uh, and that condition of of belching belching bile bile it is not it is no longer there and guess and the guess in my stomach I cannot feel it truly I thank God Ah. The, all the glory I give him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give God glory. I believe there are so many testimonies. Amina. Amina. Is that, is that, yeah. that much testimony? If we had time, we could proceed.